Welcome back to the Tidy Room Hangout. This is Mike. Today I want to talk to you about the G.I. Joe classified G.I. Joe day. There's quite a few reveals that came out, a lot of stuff going on. There's so much news coming from a lot of stuff. For whatever this week, there's just a crazy amount. Some stuff from Star Wars, there's some stuff going on with Transformers, but I think G.I. Joe Day was the most interesting, so I want to talk mostly about that, touch very little on the Transformers and Star Wars at the end, and then of course Sunday I'm going to go deeper into all of it, but looking at this, we're going to start with G.I. Joe, coming up! Okay, so we're going to start out talking about what they did put up to pre-order already, they did put these back up to pre-order here, so we have... Dr. Mindbender and Serpentor, they went up for another round of pre-orders for about 1 p.m. Eastern yesterday, and so when are they sold out? By the time I got to looking at it and found out about it, it was sold out, or I would have put up some sort of post. I didn't know this was a thing that they were going to do on G.I. Joe Day, but I guess you should just assume they're going to put stuff out. Well, they didn't put the Zartan SDCC back up. I would have liked that, but anyhow, anyhow, I think more people got the opportunity to get this, but not everybody that wanted one. I bet you there's still a lot of people out there that would have liked to have had it, at retail and not didn't get it so there's kind of sucks but kind of glad that they put it back up there again but i bet you a ton of people missed out so i bet you they'll do another round of in the future it just seems like they're dangling this carrot and they're just going to keep doing it all right so the first one i want to get into here is scrap iron and this is probably going to be a deluxe figure probably around the 42 dollar price point and if crockmaster was any sign, you're going to start getting it for like 35 bucks right away on Walmart.com, but uh, we'll see about that. So I do want to say that I feel like this is a very good example of what Classified should be. It is very true to the original vintage toy, the Real American Hero figure, but still it has a lot of modern upgrades that feel right. So it's instead of on a stand, his launcher is a remote launcher that's controlled by it's controlled by radio control, not a remote detonator like it had before, which was on a string. And it's got blast effects, smoke, where there's smoke, there's fire. It's all kind of cool stuff going on right here. And I'm guessing those long blast effects connect to the back of the missiles to make it look like the missiles are flying or something. I'm not 100% sure on that, but he comes with his little pistol there and his missiles. And this is just a really good upgrade. And Probably the $40 price point, I think it's it's worth it. I mean, what would you think to make a vehicle worth it? It's not really a vehicle, it's a drone. I guess there's enough in the box to make the value for $40-something dollars, but this is a good upgrade. Now, this isn't one that you'd want multiple of. I wouldn't want multiple of. I think some people out there do, but I probably would only get my one or two. Oh, you're not even going to be able to see it. I forgot. You're probably not going to see it because of the weird packaging. So, yeah, I only need to get one of these guys. And that kind of leads into the next one. See it or not, I'm probably going to need like six of the next one. Okay, so Trouble Bubbers are my favorite, one of my favorites in the Joe line of vehicles. The small vehicles, this and the Claw and Fang, they're all fun. They're all fun because they were cheap and easy, uh, cheap and easy to get. So, I want to say that this is another perfect translation into Classified. It looks very much like the original vintage one, but it looks a little bit modernized, a lot more detail and line work to it. And a lot of paint apps on it so this at the 43 dollar price point is as long as they can keep it at the 43 dollar price point it's not something stupid like 70 or 80 bucks that would be stupid it needs to be the 43 dollar price point and i'd buy like six of them but if it's at 80 i probably just got like one or two and you got sort of a troop builder in there i mean not not one you'd build real heavy but uh it's one that you can have more than one you can have a few of these televipers in there with it televiper does have multiple different uh, heads and different skin tones and I like that it's pretty cool it gives you options so that you can make your army your troop built army there look a little bit different give some variety to it and more real life realistic and realistic you're gonna see all this different stuff he does come with his signature backpack his gun and he's got the hose to connect them and all of that kind of stuff and then and then the trouble bubble itself I do have a 3d printed one and I, I I did know we were gonna get a better one in the future like a more standard one but I still like my 3d printed one but this, this is what you do. This is awesome. This is really awesome. And this is probably going to cost right around the same price I paid for my 3D printed one. So uh, will be fun to get several of these deck out of display. And, then, and I can't wait to get my hands on it and see if I can fit a Super 7 figure in there and that strap. And if I could make it work with the Super 7 bat, 
Wouldn't that be awesome if you could make the classified vehicles and stuff work with the bat? I don't think the ramp cycle would work. It's too small. So now we're getting into the steel. So this is a steel brigade, but they called it the core two pack. Corpse. The core two pack. Uh, <laughs> it's it's funny on a lot of levels here. Now we were already kind of tipped off that there was going to be some sort of a G.I. Joe trooper pack. And it was question is it going to be green troopers is it going to be this was an option uh, jet trooper and all that kind of stuff so it's kind of a combination of all this to get still brigade in there so uh, i did have a still brigade figure i don't have one anymore i actually sold mine off and thought i got a good price for it 30 bucks 40 bucks or something and boy i, I got ripped off on that <laughs> so i haven't bothered buying back one with the vintage ones i want to have that for like a reference but these look good you have a male and a female, which we didn't have in the past. You have a ton of accessories. So obviously, I I'm wondering if they're going to be about the same price point as the two ninjas, which those are $44, which I just saw them on sale again for like 30 something, 33 or something. So the blue ninjas, they just keep rubbing in my face. I paid full price for those blue ninjas when I didn't really even want to buy them at all. And so now I feel stupid. So anyway, and, and the three pack of the Vipers are on sale every other week and I paid full price for those too so like it I really hurt it's feel paying full price I don't know if these would see those kinds of sales but anyway getting into it you they each have their a knife a gun flame effects multiple different types of flame effects and they have aside from a handgun pistol they, they've got assault weapons there as jetpacks flame effects for the jetpacks extra heads uh, just really cool all around I think they did a good job with this I mean, that, again, this is probably still renders. If it's renders, though, it's really good renders. But I have upgraded my some of my equipment right here, so things do look so much better, sharper, and crisper to me as I'm looking at it. That's, that's pretty cool. So now we get into Snow Job. And so I want to say when I had the vintage Snow Job, when I first got it, it wasn't even mine, it was my brother's. And I was impressed with how he had a backpack that held his poles and his skis and he could have his guns it, would, it was all compact on him and so this is very similar i don't know if he'd be able to hold if it will hold his uh skis when he's using the snowshoes or if it would hold the snowshoes when he's holding this i assume it would i assume you'd be able to clip them all on there whichever one you're not using so that's my assumption he's got some pretty cool looking sunglasses on there too and then two different head sculpts and so there's a lot going on in here. Would this be a deluxe price point or is this just gonna be the standard $23, $25 price point? Uh, I think it might be the $25 price point and I think they might just give us uh, a good deal with all the accessories, maybe. If not, I'm wrong and I'm sad, but he looks good, I like it. I, I like the route they went with him. Doesn't look super ultra a real American hero, but doesn't look Fortnite it out. So like right in the middle, perfect i'm fine with that i'm perfectly fine with it very happy with what i'm seeing here and i know some people probably aren't over the moon about it but it's good to recreate these classic characters and make them look so good okay so i do want to point out that they did put some other figures back up for pre-order or if they i think they put them back for pre-order and they sold back out so i was hearing a lot of stuff about pre-orders coming back up and selling out but they had a storm shadow sold out and the crimson guard the retro all this kind of stuff is sold out but there are a few things that aren't sold out. So I was surprised, but not really surprised to find out that the Amigo did not sell out. So there's Amigo, Snake Eyes, and Storm Shadow. So I, I, if you're in on the style of Amigo, then you probably would be down for it. I'm not exactly in on that style. So I never picked it up. And henceforth, the Amigo 2-pack is still there for 40 bucks. 20 bucks figure comes with a slew of accessories and all that kind of stuff if you're in on it and just didn't notice it because it's so deep in the recesses of all the other stuff around it sold out and then the other thing and i just didn't get a picture of it is the fortnite version of snake eyes that's still available on hasbro pulse also which i was told they sold out i thought i saw it sold out and now it says it's back in stock so if you want a fortnite snake eyes go check it out on hasbro pulse and there's some transformer reveals from the live stream or whatever going on. I don't know the live stream, whatever, some pictures of stuff. And I'm not really too excited about it. I mean, there, there's another Insecticon that I'm looking forward to. And I do like them remaking the Insecticons bigger and better. The Legend scale ones were okay, but I like them in the deluxe scale a little bit better. And 
Most of the rest of the stuff we've already seen before, so it's not exciting. I just don't think these are exciting when we get the early reveals and those uh, cheesy pictures of them half transformed and we already know what's coming and then other people have already done reviews of some of this stuff, so it's not quite as exciting as say, oh hey, look what we're getting. But I'm not, this isn't targeting me anymore, so I feel like where we're going with the Transformers mainline is leaving me behind, and that's fine because I got third party stuff that's expensive and Joe's to buy and stuff like that, so. Uh, but it's cool to watch this, and I'm still going to talk about it, of course, and throw my uh, two cents, or I guess in some of it's half a cent worth, in on these. But I will have more to say about this come Sunday. I'll look a lot more at these pictures. And Sunday, I'm going to talk more about Star Wars. Uh, it's, I would call it lackluster, but I would say it's not the worst presentation they've put out. And some of the figures are pretty solid representations that we sort of could use. And some are reissues, like Starkiller. They reissued Starkiller. And that's a high dollar figure for a while there. Now he's coming down. Then there's the red tinted version of uh, a Black Series Darth Vader. So it's been a while since they put a Darth Vader out. So they're kind of doubling down. Now we're getting a vintage collection removal helmet, Darth Vader, and a Kaida Mundi. So you can kind of deck out your Jedi. So there's a lot of Jedi's from the prequels. So I mean, it's going to take them decades to dial all them out. But. Uh, and then the troopers coming back. The rebel trooper is going to be on a on a card back. That's Return of the Jedi, and they got a, a scout trooper helmet. So a lot of cool stuff. It's not bad. It's not great. It's sort of like reuse, middle of the road kind of stuff. And I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I'm not really super excited about retro collection pipeline reveals. I just feel like they could have done way better with this. So. Uh, where's the rest of the Return of the Jedi characters? Where's the rest of the Empire characters? There's, there's 93 figures in the vintage line and they've made 30, 27 of them or something. So where's the rest of those? But yeah, I, this is one of those things where G.I. Joe Classified wins. It's a win. Win for this entire week of news. And so there's one last tidbit of Joe news. And that is Super 7. Super 7 has come out and they said that Wave 1 of the Joes that we waiting for for two years, is it two years or something like that, is, is that have left the factory. And so they're shipping, now they're floating and flying over here. So you'll get them when you get them, but they expect by the end of February. So by the end of this month, we should have those. I'm curious, I'm curious for updates on the Silverhawks. I'm curious for updates on uh, the last waves or the next waves. Of Thundercats and then the Thunder Tank and all that kind of stuff. I'm curious about that, but I, I, I'm not curious about paying for all that stuff when it shows up because it's going to be expensive. But anyway, let me know what you think about these reveals. Are you excited for the G.I. Joe Classified? Are you excited for Super 7? Are you excited for Are you excited for any of the Star Wars or Transformers stuff that I haven't really gotten too deep into just yet? Of course, I will on Sunday. So let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe and talk to your hanger out.